Wait, can you come down here and check this out. Come check this out. It's safe. Come down. Come down. I mean, it's, it's, it's safe. I mean, I, it's don't safe. Know, I swear. I don't know if I can trust you. I swear to God, it's, it's I unloaded it. <laughs> okay, I'm coming it's down. Safe, <laughs> oh, oh my God. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh, I'm so sorry, Gloomy! Everybody just died! Oh my god, I'm so sorry! What the fuck? Hey everyone, welcome to the video. Uh, my name is Trustworthy Cannibal. This is my first sort of structured video, so bear with me, be flexible with me. And of course, you know, throw a like and subscribe and a comment and all that good stuff uh, into, the, into the video here. I love watching those sort of figures and stats roll in. Uh, it's super fun for me. Um, help me support the channel so I can grow it some more. So I'll get right into the into the build here in a moment, but a quick preface. This base, starter slash trap base design, I've used for years since Hapus and Savas were popular in Rust, like like five, six, I don't know how long, like years ago. Um, I, I will stand and die and all that good stuff by this base design. Highly recommend you try using it um, in your next build. So first and foremost, find that great build spot, you know, build up by the monuments, by the road, what have you. I, whoever like to build by the beach and mess with nakeds, get that psychological sort of satisfaction from, you know, trap basing nakeds. So you're going to find that base design spot and then do what you've done your entire rust life. Throw up that basic starter two by one with that triangle foundation for the airlock. Except you're not going to be placing these single door frames here. No, no, you're just gonna slap up some walls all the way on the exterior and then upgrade that little rascal before that guy with the spear that dude with water pipes rolls up on you and takes everything you've known and loved. There we go, that's the first step. That's all you gotta do. Then of course though, that dude with the water pipes is gonna wanna boost in, so you're gonna wanna throw that roof up there and then a single door frame here. Upgrade that and then you're gonna wanna get a single door here and have it open outwards, just like that. If you don't know, if you can see the little gap here, uh, that means it's going to open outwards. This way it's going to open towards me here. So I want to open it outwards, just like that. Bada bing, bada boom. So at this point, your base is sort of safe. So you're going to want to throw down your TC so you don't get TC griefed, of course. Just like so. And throw up a box for some quick early wipe storage. All right, pretty good spot now. And now for the airlock. So you're going to want to build a wall frame here for a double door upgrade that and then for your um you know your sheet metal double door or your wooden double door you're going to want to have it open outwards towards the single door here not towards the tc this way so what you just created here is an airlock so if this door is open and this door is open they're not going to be able to get through here so maybe i don't know i've never seen it before a duo because one could stand here one can jump on their head and kind of push them in i've personally never had that happen if you have throw it in the comments you know about your experience and then i can laugh at you so anywho you got that done you're in a pretty good spot here so next what you're going to want to do uh, if you have the shotgun trap and ammo uh, place that otherwise you can um, you know put a little box which i'll show you in a moment here to get in and out of your base so let's say you don't have a shotgun trap yet uh, you're going to want to grab that single small box here have it kind of face vertical with you here and i shove it all the way in the back as far as i can place her down good to go all right so at this point you maybe you're going to go out and farm so to get out um you're going to want to kind of stand in the door frame here open the door it's going to kind of push you in a little bit um, and then you're going to jump on the small wooden box jump on top of that door jump on the roof and then go out into the world and get killed 10 times before you get enough loot to upgrade anywho you grab your loot you're coming back uh, you're going to throw down that triangular foundation put up a half wall here to get in and out of your base you could of course use a ladder here or deployable deployables um, but this is probably the simplest and cheapest way early wipe so at this point you're in a pretty good spot Maybe you've got enough stuff for the shotgun trap. Open that door and open it again to the airlock. So for the shotgun trap placement, I have both the doors open here. I like to stand in this gap uh, between the open doors here. And then I'll get the shotgun trap, look at my feet, make sure I'm still lined up. And I'll kind of go up and along the wall and place it kind of, you know, towards the back. Doesn't have to be all the way back, but right around there. Bada bing, bada boom. So at this point now, 
if somebody jumps down after you've loaded the shotgun trap, they're going to get blasted. You're going to take their loot. You're going to have a good time. So at this point, you can see the resource cost on the right side there. Two rope, two gears, 650 metal frags, 1850 wood, and thir uh, 3,510 stone. So pretty good spot. You got a shotgun trap. Uh, starter base set up and going here. So, of course, at this point, depending on where the wipe is and all that good stuff, you'll have people kind of flooding in and hearing shotgun traps to come check them out. One thing I didn't mention earlier, if you put a shotgun trap base by the beach here, geared guys are going to come down to check it out, and you might get lucky and scoop one of them up. So anywho, you know, you've got people coming in, and they're going to start to get salty really fast. So they're going to kind of stand back here and scope things out, see all those juicy bodies down there, and they're going to want to come and get a, a cut of the action here. So to prevent, you know, people from kind of, you know, standing right here and shooting at you if you're down there in the base, uh, there's a couple things you could do. Uh, one thing I like to do, uh, just turn these two uh, portions of the base, uh, wall them up, throw a roof up there for the same reason nobody stands up there. And if you'd like, I like to do, I do a door frame right here. Stone that off. So now, if somebody's trying to grief you, they got a really hard time, you know, getting an angle on you. They can maybe throw a grenade here, uh, but, you know, if they're not careful, they're going to fall down really easily. They, of course, also, they can come down here, stand on the door right here. Oh, they die there, too. <laughs> stand on the door here, and they can kind of see somewhat far into your base, but it's really easy. They're going to slip off, and they're going to get blasted. So that's the nuts and bolts of the base design here. Um, for getting, uh, defending it, it's super easy. They'll probably just chuck grenades or stuff down here. Um, you know, if they destroy that door, they're going to get stuck down there. Once in a while, folks will get a ladder and they'll try to drain the shotgun trap. From my experience, it's incredibly hard to drain the shotgun trap. I've had it happen like once to me in years. Um, I don't know what it is about the angles or the, the um, shot radius of the shotgun trap or the ladder or what have you. Uh, super effective, though. Um, of course, from here, you could do whatever expansion you want. You can throw some honeycomb up here. I like to do a little shooting floor here and then do like you know, kind of bad roof camping, I call it, just to lure people over here. And uh, yeah, that's that's the nuts and bolts of the design here. Um, some other things you can do too, um, if you're you know looking to spice things up a little more. Um, I sometimes like to put two small boxes here and here, and then it makes it harder for people to kind of run in. You know, they go right here, it's kind of making them, making them jump, get the crotch jump through it, and that shotgun trap's gonna waste them by that point. So you could do that as well. Otherwise, um, if you'd like, you can put some kind of um, some more bait down here. Maybe put a, some furnaces smelting right here. Or I'll put like a nice big old box just like right there, kind of sloppily. So if people are getting real greedy. They'll come up here and they'll kind of see that box. And then they're going to kind of check it out and bam, they're dead. So there's different things you could do with it from here. Um, highly recommend you try it out in your next wipe, in your next build, um, it will yield you dividends. Do it now before people start, you know, seeing this, and, and not that I think tons of people are going to see it, but, um, and uh, using the design. And let me know, too, if you've seen this base design in other videos. I'm sure I'm not the first person to think of it. Um, I have used it for years. I don't know if I copied it and then adapted to my own from years ago. Um, but let me know in the comments, and I'll see you in the next video.